The S&P 500 and NASDAQ hit new highs Friday before shedding all those gains. Uh, the Russell 2000 down about 1%, but small cap stocks have been on a tear over the last quarter. And let's explore that more with Chris Retzler. He is portfolio manager of the Needham Small Cap Growth Fund. Welcome, Chris, and Happy New Year. Yes, Happy New Year to you as well, and thank you for having me. Thank you. And by the way, I should tell our viewers that you know, your fund had returns of 37% over the last quarter and 72% over the last year. Now, uh, starting with headlines, the economy lost 140,000 jobs last month, contrary to economists' expectations for a gain. And we saw investors initially shrug that up, but now the sentiment has turned south. Why the change in sentiment, investor sentiment? Well, I think it comes into where stimulus might be. Uh, and I think the expectation that there would be very substantial stimulus uh, here in February. And, and if that's at some question, um, you know, that could be some pullback. Uh, I specifically was not as surprised about a, a weaker employment number because what we began to see in November and December was more closing down uh, different states around uh, the country and globally for that matter. Uh, which gives us a little bit more concern going into what we would see in the the first quarterly estimates uh, coming up in February. So while we're out of the gate strong with the markets, I think there's some areas we need to be paying attention to over the next few weeks. And Chris, a lot of strategists on Wall Street for over the last few weeks, so last few months, have been starting to say, hey, the value stocks will come into play, the reflation trade, along with that, small cap stocks. And we certainly have seen small cap stocks bounce back after their underperformance uh, last year uh, uh, for the greater part against uh, large caps. So uh, what specific sectors within small caps do you think will do well this year that you favor? So I think technology will continue to do well. Um, technology has higher growth. Um, a lot of the dollars last year and over the past few years has flowed to a, a very small group of names. And I think as that broadens out with an economic cycle uh, that I think should accelerate by the second half of this year, what it does is it really drives top line revenue growth for smaller companies, which then can have margin leverage and ultimately dropping profits to the bottom line. Uh, there's also a lot of fiscal stimulus that we think is coming. There's monetary uh, stimulus that's out there with a the Fed uh, basically telling us that interest rates on the short end will remain zero for a long time. Uh, so that's all really an amazing cocktail for small cap companies, we think, uh, that should continue to do well as uh, it broadens out, the, the market participation broadens out. Some, uh, as it broadens out, some people are saying that it'll go more towards value at the expense of growth. Um, you don't see that. And if so, within tech, for example, growth, where do you see the growth? So I do think that value should recover some. And a lot of the value names are more in the energy and financial companies. That's where you find them uh, in the Russell 2000. Uh, our expertise, though, for investing is more in the growthy names, uh, technology, uh, healthcare, um, and we still, again, see good growth patterns there, good secular trends uh, that we think investors are going to continue to reward those companies uh, that can succeed. Uh, you know, semiconductors, semi-cap equipment are still uh, have great tailwinds to those stories. Uh, 5G is a real big theme that's going to continue to roll out both on an infrastructure basis and on a device basis. Uh, the automotive sector is doing a lot better, and it's been improving since the fall. We think that continues through. Uh, you know, a new car these days is more like a computer with four wheels, and there's so much technology that goes in there. Uh, also, electric vehicle technology, we think, will continue to move forward. Uh, there's a lot of supply chain opportunities there uh, that we look at that make that successful. And lastly, Chris, uh, we asked you before uh, we began uh, this broadcast, uh, what stocks do you like that have not, for example, appreciated so much that investors can still get into at this time? And you mentioned WWD Worldwide uh, Wrestling Entertainment, another one, Limelight. Tell me about those. Yeah. So World Wrestling Entertainment is really a recovery uh, play as we can get back to stadiums, hopefully uh, some point in the second half of this year. 
Um, they've, I think, done a fantastic job in innovating and modifying their product that they produce uh, all week long. Um, but when you get people back into the stadiums, uh, we think that that's a recovery play. Um, and again, it's, it's also significantly owned by the founder, uh, the McMahon family. So you, you are uh, very aligned with management and the large shareholders. Now, Limelight is a name that, uh, you know, we've owned for a while. Uh, it did well for a portion of last year during uh, the, the work from anywhere phase. Um, but then it, it had some correction. So, again, if you look at value, I think that's value in technology. Um, they are a provider of uh, content delivery. So when we get back to live entertainment, they're going to be a beneficiary of that, uh, as well as just moving um, more content and media around. So you look at things like Peacock, you see Discovery Plus, um, and other over-the-top opportunities. So there's been some management changes there, um, and we think that 2021 uh, should be a good place and, and, quite frankly, a value place. All right. A value uh, play in a, in a growth fund. Thanks a lot, Chris. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Our thanks to Chris Retzler of Needham. I'm Fred Katayama in New York. This is Reuters, and have a wonderful weekend.